Hello, my name is Anna Wolkiewicz. I am Application Specialist at Quorum Technologies and today I will present you Q150 Plus coating system that is designed to produce ultra-fine coatings for electron microscopy imaging. The Q150 V Plus is optimized for high vacuum applications with an ultimate vacuum of 110 to the minus 6 minibar. The lower background pressure removes oxygen, nitrogen and water vapor from the chamber, avoiding chemical reactions during the sputter process, which could otherwise lead to impurities or defects in the coatings. The Q150 V Plus uses low temperature enhanced plasma magnetrons optimized for the turbomolecular pump pressures, combined with low current and deposition control, which ensures your sample is protected and uniformly coated. The system is not only designed to deposit metals, but it is also used for carbon evaporation for ultra-thin films to use in the TEM imaging. The Q150 V Plus has a vacuum chamber, coating source, sample stage, film thickness monitor, a set of pumps and electronics which along with touch and swipe screen allows user to run many processes from sputtering and thermal evaporation to glow discharge. So as you can see we have plenty of accessories and uh, five heads for the instrument. The sputtering head which has the mount for the target. Another and very important one is the carbon rod evaporation head which has here already uh, mounted sharpened carbon rods. These rods need to be changed every process so you run one process on one set of carbon rods. We have another uh, head for carbon, this time from the position is from a carbon string and this deposition is a pulsed carbon. Another thermal evaporation could be done in this head and here you can mount molybdenum bolt as you can see here and Hmm. This way you can uh, evaporate metals like silver or gold and then you will mount your samples here. It will be bottom top process. However, you can make this process uh, opposite to have the source mounted in a basket like this one. If you think that your uh, deposition require thicker coatings, you can change the molybdenum bolt for something that has more room, more capacity, and then it will be such tungsten wire with the crucible. So this head is for thermal evaporation of metals and it works really nice. This is our uh, last head. This is um, plasma cleaning uh, and glow discharge head uh, with which you can either etch surfaces or uh, glow discharge and this process um, is for making surfaces clean and hydrophilic. The software of Q150 V Plus allows user to access and edit many parameters as well as creating new profiles that are not under the default list. Each user can have their own profile and store recipes in the memory. This can now accommodate over 1000 recipes. The history button allows to access past processes and view their parameters. The USB connection also allows to copy the log files if more intense study on parameters is needed. 
The Q150 Plus is equipped with many sample holders, from a simple stub holder through to an adjustable angle stage and a rotacotta stage. These options allow users to achieve optimal coatings of the samples. The system is equipped with multicolor LED visual status indicator that changes color during the process, showing its status. For example, if a recipe is started, the color is changed for green, which means the process has just started and the chamber is being pumped down. To run a coating process, you need to simply choose an appropriate recipe by pressing the blue arrow. This opens the recipe parameter window where we can edit conditions or activate, deactivate actions like target cleaning or stage rotation. The parameters of coating are predefined, but they can be changed by typing in the desired values. Other parameters that can be changed include the thickness of the coating, the sputtering current as low as 1 mA, the pressure of sputtering gas or the operational vacuum. Cleaning the target is very important when sputtering oxidizing metals. It ensures that user achieves the best coating quality. The new software allows a user to edit cleaning time and current to suit their sample. After editing these key parameters, the machine is ready to run. By pressing the green arrow, we activate the recipe and the coating process starts. While it is running, the user can still edit a few parameters like the cleaning and sputtering current. When there is a need to coat with a different metal than the one which is mounted in the head, it is easy to change the target disk for the one that we want to use. To change the target, you will need to open the top lid by slightly pressing the top down and pulling the pin out. This releases the lid and you can then access the mount of the head. To remove the head, we open the safety locks, cable connection and we can take the head out. To remove the target from the head, four locking screws must be removed to take off the top shield. Under the top shield, there is a holder that needs to be unscrewed to access the target disc and replace it. After removing the holder, you can change your target. Secure it by screwing the holder back in and placing the top shield back. Please note that for thicker targets, a special spacer is used to create a gap between the top shield and the target, which is used for plasma formation. When the head is fitted with a new target, it is placed back onto the coater. After engaging the safety locks and connecting the cable, we are ready to close the lid. I will open the lid with the head and now you can see that there is a safety latch that prevents the lid to fall and hit the chamber. If I would like to coat these two samples with platinum, I simply put them into the coater onto the sample stage and I am ready to close the lid. However, some samples are difficult to be put into the chamber without touching them in excess. So for that, we are able to remove the glass cylinder and that we have easier access to the sample stage. When the samples are in, we basically put the cylinder back in again and I am able to close the lid. There is the safety latch on the lid that we need to disengage to close the lid. The latch prevents the lid to fall and break the cylinder. Now everything is ready to choose the correct recipe, parameters and run the process. When choosing a new recipe, the system prompts user to confirm target material 
and it then automatically selects appropriate parameters. We can edit the parameters if needed. The machine is now ready to run a coating with a new metal target. For depositing carbon, the tall chamber cylinder was mounted. To change the head for carbon evaporation, we only need to open the top lid, disengage the safety locks and remove the sputtering head. Instead, the carbon rod evaporation head will be put in. It is already fitted with sharpened rods. Now we are ready to run carbon rod evaporation. The Q150V Plus is a versatile tool for producing ultra-fine coatings. For more information, please visit our website.